the best mascara. I like a lot of blush, even though I'm literally wearing a mask. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do this simple makeup look. I feel like it's super natural, but also kind of adds a little bit of a pop with the little eyeliner and stuff. So keep on watching if you want to learn how to do this look. So I have all my makeup right here, and this is from Ipsy. First thing I'm going to get is my primer. This is from First Aid Beauty. It is the Pores Be Gone Matte Primer. Also, I washed my hands before this, like don't worry. A little on my nose and then on my cheek. So just blended all of that in. Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade, I think I'm Cream Brulee. Yeah. Take my little mirror instead of using the viewfinder. Just, I'm just going to put it. Oh, it's so dirty. So I'm just going to like look down here so I can actually see. So I'm just going to put it on all blemishes because I like blemishes that word. I like that word better than um, acne. I just wanted to remind you guys at some point in everyone's life, they've had acne. And getting acne is like very natural. It's normal. It's human. So don't be embarrassed. I mean, obviously I have my days where I feel less confident with acne. You should just try to embrace um, like how your skin looks right now. If you're always just like beating yourself up about it and you're like, oh, like when my skin is clear, like I'll feel better. But like that's not really true because then you'll just kind of find like something else to like beat up on. So like beat yourself up on. So basically what I'm saying is like once like you accept yourself like as you are now, like no one has completely perfect skin, even though it may seem like it. It's, that's like impossible. It's impossible to be perfect. And I've been learning that lesson a lot recently. Take my Glossier Stretch Concealer and just go under my eyes. But I'm just gonna put some right here and just create like a little line and then some right here to do like that model makeup or whatever. Like if you're trying to like conceal blemishes a little bit, would not recommend this to do that because it's just so natural. But one thing I love about it is it barely, like, I don't think it really creases at all. Can you guys tell the difference? Like, look how good that looks. Recently, I've been learning that no one can be perfect. I was reading the book. It's really good. It's called You Are a Badass. Um, I mean, that's literally just the title of the book. But really good. It's given me so many good lessons, but I had to put it down the other day because I was reading a page. Sorry, this like looks so awkward. I was reading it and it said, you're not going to get it all done. Like, done. You have to kind of consolidate, which I was like, yeah, that's true. Like, if I make this whole long list, I can't get it all done. And then she says, your to-do list is never going to be complete. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And I just couldn't read it because I'm like literally, I feel like I'm definitely a type A person where I'm like, I have my to-do list. I want it to be all done by the end of the day. In all honesty, it was really hard for me to accept like what she was saying is actually right. Because I only have a few days when my to-do list is like completely accomplished. And on those days, it's like my to-do list is like so, like there's barely any tasks on it. So the reason I don't use, or like I don't use a brush is because I feel like it just soaks up all the product and I don't want to waste my money. So yeah, now I'm looking like a pale little ghost and I'm just going to take my Glossier Cloud Paint blush. If you guys have not used this product, you may not know, but it's very, oh. The sun is just shifting. Um, and it's very pigmented. Literally in my last video, I was talking about how it's like 80 degrees and this weekend it's like in the 50s. So like, I don't even know how that happened. Like last night I was walking Cooper and I'm like, it's freezing. It was 48 degrees or 46 maybe. I don't know. And maybe that sounds like warm to you if you live in a really cold place. But to me, that is so cold. I like a lot of blush, even though I'm literally wearing a mask. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of this banana powder, literally from like my Ipsy bag. So I have no idea like the brand. It just says like banana powder on it. But literally I get like a ton of it on this brush. I'm going to go forehead. Now it's time for one of my favorite parts, which is the highlighter. I use the Ofra one in the shade um, Bliss. Yeah, Blissful. So. I really love it. It's just it's just gorgeous. Like, can you see it? I'm just gonna go on my nose a little bit. I do a really small amount, not just under my brow bone. Next step, this is one of my last steps. I'm gonna be taking my Glossier Boy Brow in brown. This matches my eyebrows pretty well, but I always have to like take off some of the product because there's always so much. I know it looks so tiny and literally like a sample size, but I swear this lasts me for like six months or more maybe. Um, but maybe that's because I don't do my makeup every day. I do it like 
once a week if I'm being honest. But basically I just like brush through them. I need to look in the mirror right now because like literally if I look up here, I'm going to mess it all up. Use this. You have to use like a very light hand. Like I think I might have done a little too much. I like keeping the brows natural. Sometimes I'll just do clear eyebrow gel, but I was feeling this today. This little brush from Ipsy again, literally where I get all my brushes. And this, I think Estee Lauder Pure Color NVI and Cheek Palette. That's what it looks like. I take the darkest shade. I gotta take my little crusty mirror. Like you guys can probably see how gross it is. Right under my lash line, like if you guys can see. Sometimes I have to look up, but right now I'm actually doing a pretty good job, I think. Just like with this. Okay, this actually looks pretty good. I'm kind of proud. And then I take a little bit more. And I do the same thing on the top. Honestly, you could do this with eyeliner too, but I just find this is easier for me. Like, I literally have eyeliner I could use. I have this one eye done, this eye, obviously not done, done, not done. If I need to, I can do this in like, like seven minutes. Oh, girl. Okay. I did a lot. My Tarte Eyelash Curler, another one of my favorites. Like, like this is the best 20 bucks I've ever spent on an eyelash curler. Like, I don't know what it is about like this grip thing, but it just does not... Does not compare. The best mascara, Monsieur Big by Lancome. I take this and I just like blot my eyelashes against it. I will usually, honestly, I don't know if this is good or bad, probably bad, but I will take eyelash curl and I'll just recurl. To avoid like getting clumpy, make sure to only place the mascara on like the tops of your eyelashes, like the tips, because you put it on the base, it'll just get really clumpy in my opinion. I just added some Aquaphor. Here is the finished makeup. I really like it. It's very simple, easy, natural, and I've been loving doing this like little eyeliner type look. Anyways, remember to be grateful for today. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.